All right, we good. What's up everybody? So today is two months post-surgery. I was gonna post like an eight week post-surgery which was on Tuesday. Today is Sunday the 23rd is the day I actually got my surgery. But I didn't think it would make sense just to upload two videos on the same week. So today is two months, close enough to eight weeks. And yeah, so I'll get on to the video about how I've been feeling. Um, has been interesting. Uh, let's see. As a recap, um, obviously at the beginning I expected some pain and uh, it was going as the doctors would say. And I started getting some pain around week three. I think if you look back to my videos, you can see what weeks I was having some pain. So that was a bit discouraging, I can say. It did fade away. And I'm going to post some videos towards the end of some stuff I've been doing. You know, I started swimming. Um, I, did, I don't want to, like, extend my neck doing these movements. Anything that's going to pull the actual nerve. So I bought, like, a scuba diving mask with all the good stuff that... So I can keep my head under the water and just do these movements while I breathe. So that's kind of some of the exercises I've been doing. Not only that, um, I have been doing the typical stuff. Um but in terms of pain i am having some like stiffness slash pain like a nudge i can feel on my nerve it starts right i would want to say underneath the incision point and i'm not sure if that's exactly scar tissue because that was definitely bothering me for a, a good time and um yeah that was actually definitely bothering me for a good time so that kind of was a bit discouraging and the swimming has helped in terms of i don't know if it decompresses your spine but there is absolutely no pain when i swim um i've actually also been going to the sauna and uh steam room um that has helped definitely it definitely relieves some stiffness within my body i've noticed every time i try to do foundation training like i said I'm, i know you guys don't know what that is but i'll kind of post the link right here so you guys can check that out from my previous videos before the surgery and um yeah as i was saying like i've noticed it irritates the nerve so i'll kind of give you guys a quick example actually it's like so foundation training is kind of hinging at your hips like this and i don't know if it's exactly see just doing that movement right there i can feel the pulling see i don't know if you can really see that or not but there's my tissue like um my scar right there so it's not too big you know um so i can focus that yeah it's not too big but i can definitely feel something getting pulled with in there hopefully it's actually just like the scar tissue as i'm saying they do say that nerves tends the most to um actually heal so yeah that's kind of where i'm at right now I have a fly coming up, it's actually to Europe, so I'm honestly a little bit scared just because it's sitting a lot and sitting does bother me. Um, I'm actually going to also change my bed because it's not too much of a cushion, but I, I know it's if I have a firmer bed that's in general better for your back. But that's kind of where I stand right now guys, honestly, just I've been swimming and that has helped. It does not bother me at all while swimming, so that's something nice. Um, Kind of where I'm heading is, well, I have to. I'm going to Europe next weekend. Um, I'm honestly a little bit scared about that. I think I'm going to try to stand as much as possible during the flight. I'm in Denver, Colorado, so I got to fly to Miami, and I'll stay in Miami for a couple of days. From there, I'll leave to Europe, which is I think a 10-hour flight. So that's going to be an interesting one. And yeah, guys, that's honestly where I stand. Um, I wish by this time, like that pain would go away it's not immensely like it's not holding me back from like going on long walks and even in long walks i feel that niche like that niche within my back within the nerve and i know if i overdo something too much i will get some tingling but that hasn't happened like in a week because i've honestly been trying to take care of myself but yeah guys that's honestly where i stand right now um and that's pretty much it i'm honestly when i come back from europe um if i'm getting, being completely honest with you guys i haven't been taking the best care of myself as well in terms of maybe let's say i've gone out a couple times and drank and maybe done movements that i shouldn't have done um to be completely honest with you guys but 
that's exactly where I stand right now. Um, when I come back from Europe, I'll still keep uploading these videos. So, like, hopefully Tuesday I can do week 9. But, yeah, guys, that's that's where I stand right now. Um, I'm just super excited just to kind of get back in it. Maybe, like, some push-ups. I'll add some videos of what me doing push-ups towards the end, uh, pull-ups, slow stuff. I want to get back into it healthy. My diet has not been on point at all, to be completely honest with you guys. And, yeah. Honestly, I hope this is helping some people, maybe someone through my age going through a similar thing. Um, I used to be a weightlifter, you know, play collegiate soccer, actually. Um, I so, so I can show you guys exactly what kind of level I was of an athlete. This is actually a NCAA championship ring right here. We won in my freshman year of college. So I just won't focus, but oh, there it is. Uh, kind of but because I was saying that that will just show you exactly what kind of level I was in before so yeah guys that's where I stand right now hopefully it gets better from here um, I've been doing a lot of research maybe I can start uploading videos with research as well thank you guys for watching and um, yeah just thank you for the support and I hope these these videos are helping you guys thank you guys